to the show presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. I have an amazing show for you. I have an amazing show for you. Now, if you went ahead and took the plunge and became a sport fanatic and you don't know what to do, you got some questions, you want to know how to be a fan, how to be a sport fan, what does it take to be a sport fan? Are there any tricks? Are there any tips that you can provide? Well, I will save the best for last because I want you around. I enjoy your company. But for starters, being a sport fan, there are no set rules. There are no set rules. There are no set regulations. In fact, if you want to, you can, you could, you probably should at least once or twice, possibly, if you, if you're able to attend a game, a match, a contest in person, there's nothing, nothing like seeing your team perform in person. It is exciting. It is amazing. And it's definitely something that fanatics do, but they don't necessarily do it all the time. They do it when they're able to. And some fanatics would choose to watch the match or watch the game in the comfort of their own home or amongst close friends. That's okay. That's fine. Don't let anybody tell you that Hey, you're not a proper, proper fan because you never attended a game. You didn't attend a game. Well, genius, what if the person isn't able to attend the game because they don't have the necessary funds to do so? Are you just going to kick them out of the club, kick them out of the group? Nah. So new sports fans, don't worry about that. If you can attend, you probably should just to get that experience once and see if it's for you. See if it's for you. And depending on what sport, you might want to do that sooner rather than later. And depending on what sport, you might have more fun better fun, quality fun over another sport. And that's just the bricks. And that's just how the crookie crumbles or cookie crumbles. You pick, you choose. They're both real items. But going to and attending a game isn't something that you have to do. It is something that you probably should do for yourself to see if you like it. But if you know yourself better than the rest of us, which you probably should, but hey, no judge, no judge. Zone. The rest of us, but going and having that experience that you never experienced before, maybe that's something that you are more willing to do more often, that you're willing to take in. Cause it is definitely amazing. It's something that I would do and I do every chance and every opportunity that I get, I would want to see my team play and depending on the sport, I can watch it on the idiot box amongst friends, amongst supporters, amongst other fanatics who are rooting and supporting and cheering or jeering the same teams that I am. Sharing is caring and doing this amongst others is better, more fun, better, more fun. It's a word. Those are words. And that's just that part of it. Whatever works out best for you, you should know. 
and you can skip going to a game you can skip going to a match period if you know that that isn't for you that isn't something that makes you want to sing that ain't something that makes you want to dance that isn't something that makes you happy or give you joy being a fan of a team being a fanatic of an organization supporting that club however you want to word it it should make you feel some kind of way you should be off in your feelings you should be like yeah i don't like that i like this this makes me feel x y z this makes me feel x y z but once you come to a conclusion once you figure that out because it's different for each and every individual it won't be the same one fan will feel a certain way another fan will feel a different way but hey know what works for you and what works keep doing what works in that sense of being a sport fanatic because you're still new to this you're learning the ins and outs you're learning the ins and outs you're figuring it all out and you're going to want to get as much joy happiness as possible because when things aren't good things aren't great and everything is upside down topsy-turvy you're gonna you're gonna remember those good moments those good moments is what's gonna drive you forward those good times is what's going to help you along the way when you are experiencing misery misery loves company especially when it's amongst sports fanatics who share the same sport team but the banner will come from other sport fans and if you ain't built for the banner if you ain't built that way you're gonna need to be able to hold on to something to get you through the tough and troubling times they will come for how long it lasts that depends on what organization you are supporting that depends on what team you're rooting for that depends on what franchise you say hey i'm rolling with you to the end i'm rolling with you until the wheels fall off you day zero you day zero not day one but day zero and once all that's out of the way you can move along you can move along into the memorabilia the jerseys do you have to purchase a jersey of whatever sport team you're supporting quick answer no easy answer no more accurate answer no you can go your entire life without purchasing or buying a jersey and that will not make you a bad fan of your team that won't make you a better fan of your team if you were to go out and purchase a jersey purchase the uniform purchase the shoes purchase the curtains the flag to put on your car the blankie for your bed you can go out and get anything related to the the team that you support the team that you are a fanatic of that's not gonna make you a better fan that's not gonna make you a worse fan you're just gonna have to decide whether or not you would like or you would want to spend your hard-earned money or the money that you just get off of trees because that's where it's growing 
if this is worth purchasing or not. That's an individual decision. That is something that your big brain is gonna have to signal to the rest of your body to let you know how to move, what moves to make. Should you be A, going to get in this jersey or B, ignoring the jersey or C, somewhere in between. And in between getting a jersey or not getting a jersey is confusion. By the way, confusion. It's okay. A lot of us are confused. Some of us are concussed. Others just like to. Who knows? Who knows? But that one way or the other, whether you're purchasing things from the team or not, whether you are getting gifts or giving gifts of the team merchandise or not or cards or not it's not going to determine whether or not you are a better proper loyal fan than the next fanatic that does or doesn't do the same thing and that's just that step that's just that window of opportunity that we just opened up and went down. But more importantly, or most importantly, because I know, I know you want to know the main thing about all of this. The main thing about all of this is you've been waiting. You've been waiting for so long and it's time to deliver. It is time to deliver. There's no rules to this. There's no rules to this. And it really comes down to how do you, how would you like to support? How would you like to and want to support your team? Seriously, because what Josh, Abe, Billy, Bob, or whoever, Karen, Sharon, Amy, Nikki, however they feel about their team is not gonna necessarily be the same way you feel about the team and that is okay. It is okay to have different feelings. It is okay to have a different opinion. And if somebody, warning, 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 and if somebody, somebody tells you that you need to do this to be a fan a fan or fanatic of this team or for you to be welcome in the group i'd say run and if you can't run walk away and if you can't walk away hit them with the deuces and if you can't and don't want to be confrontational and hit them with the deuces or anything, just pretend like you didn't hear a word that they said. Just pretend like you don't speak the language. Just pretend like they just told you something, but you just don't understand what they talking about and you just don't have time to figure it out. So you just keep it moving or just stay still. You pick, you choose, it's down to you. The main point is though, there's no right or wrong way to be a fanatic. There is no monolithic way of thinking unless it's about success, unless it's about the team being successful, the teams winning, but then that still will come down to how one defines success. What is success? Winning X amount of games, being a champion, holding up trophies, whatever determines success for you is not gonna determine success for the next fanatic. And that's why it's still no one way to be a proper fan. No one way to be the best fan. No one way to be 
the worst fan for that matter and that's easy that's easy to remember we're not robots we're not programmed to think and share the same idea amongst each other and have the same thought process we come from different backgrounds we value different things value system is different for me success might be winning multiple trophies multiple championships at least one championship somebody else that's not good enough that's okay that's fine that drives the conversation that drives the debate that drives taking ideas or getting input from different ideas that maybe you haven't thought of it's something that you can think about it's something that you can process it's something that you can use to have a conversation with or about and that's a good thing being able to talk being able to share ideals amongst each other in the fan base is a positive a net positive it's not frowned upon it's actually something that is a good thing it may not seem that way it may not seem that way because of the vocal minority meaning there's some bad actors of course they're everywhere and some of those bad actors would just like to and want to tell you direct you control you on your feelings your emotions your thoughts basically everything red flags red flags red flags those are serious serious red flags once again you should run you should move you should do something to get away from the noise do something to get away from the drama in that situation but ultimately what comes down to being a new fan to a sports team that you like now that you say hey i like this team i heart this team this team colors my favorite colors this team is where i grew up this team is who my family roots for therefore okay i'm i'm ready to be a part of this it's okay to not know things and have different opinions about situations it's an entertainment it's an entertainment business it's a sport entertainment that competes with competition that's real and those who are being good enough at the end game or during the end they get rewarded and all picks all opinions all suggestions aren't necessarily the ones that end up being right when it's all said and done and that is something else that provides the fun factor for all of this nobody really knows nobody really has the answer and that's why you talk that's why it's different that's why it's opinion and not fact an actual match with real human beings and not a computer simulation based on algorithms and once all of this has seeped in once all of this knowledge has been implanted or somehow put in your uh, brain brain yeah brain for the final answer you can know and you should be able to pick out easily those bad actors easily those that's not up to um, good with bad intentions easily those who just want to bring misery harm and chaos but 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 don't get it twisted 
and definitely don't get it confused. There is a level of banter. If you aren't about the banter, if you don't know what the word banter mean, let's just go ahead and agree. Agree to disagree that you don't, you, you, you're not gonna be about banter. That's fine, that's cool, that's okay. Banter is a part of being a fanatic. You can either ignore it, distance yourself away from it, or be involved with it. And even with the banter back and forth with fans within the fan base or fanatics that's outside the fan base that's telling you that your team isn't that good and hitting you with the number one salute the number one salute okay you don't have to banter banter just makes it a little bit more cool it makes it fun it's definitely something that adds to the entertainment. And once you have a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, in addition to those days and weeks of being a fanatic, and you understand how the banter and bantering system works, it might be something you like. It might be something that you can get down with. And if not, that's fine. That's fine. The rest of your fan base, some of them would do it for you. And you can probably uh, hop on their back and ride their banter wave against or amongst others. Or you can be an individual. Or you can just not do it, period. Because when it comes down to being a new sports fanatic or being a sports fanatic, period, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, and there's definitely no accurate way to determine on how to be a sports fanatic. It all comes down to how you feel, what makes you feel something. Because being a fan, a fanatic, you, there's really isn't any logic in it. It is what it is. It's Manny being Manny. It's Manny being Manny. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.